even more food. Bonnie. Hi, dogs. Look who's back. It's Bonnie. <laughs> Your friend Buddy. Now you can look at cat food. Uh, hi. Ah. hi there. <laughs> we were talking with Beverly Leviner, and uh, Beverly is the uh, co owner of Hilltop Studios and an independent uh, uh, ceramic and mosaic artist in her Sculptor. own right. Sculptor. Yeah. Sculptor, of course. She's, she's done a number of really interesting and delightful sculptor, sculptures, I must say. Thank and uh, we have Nancy Sarangoulis, who is co-owner. And uh, the, um, what would the you say? The brains behind the The brains behind the outfit? Okay, <laughs> well, all right. We'll let you two arm wrestle that one out. But... Um, Anyway, we're uh, we're in the uh, in in Beverly's ceramic studio here. We'll just take a quick pan around here because it's so because it's so messy. No, because it's a workshop. It's actually you're working here. Oh yeah, that's right. You're working. working here. You know that's what it is. It is work, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah. So um, what are you doing here? What's this? Okay, I'm cutting out uh, part of a mosaic mural that is scheduled to go. Uh, at Penn State Berks campus. So that's what mm -hmm. I'm doing now. Uh, do you want me to show you a little bit of the process? Yeah, yeah, let's see okay. a little bit of the process. I see you have everything stenciled out here. Yes. So that's, well, that's the original one part. design is hard to see. This is just my working drawing, uh, 20, uh, close to 20 feet long, and uh, most of it is ceramic tile. Some of it is shards and uh, commercial tiles brought into the imagery. It's for their 50th anniversary. That was the commission. So I do the mock-up drawing. I do a large drawing, which is in my attic. In other words, it's full size. And then I lay down plastic. Let me show you this. I lay down plastic uh, over the imagery and uh, then I begin to cut it out in clay. Now in clay you can't cut uh, a huge mask, you have to separate it into parts. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm cutting the different parts of the mask which will be individual tiles that will go mm -hmm. together like a little puzzle. You're going to piece mail this all together. Yes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. all of it goes together. This is just one part of the mail. This is a big slab roller here. It rolls. It, you take a lump of a huge lump of clay. You roll out slabs, and then you cut your designs, your tiles, uh, from the slabs. Um, let's see. I have. Uh, I have gone through about. 200 pounds of clay, and I think I'll probably wind up going through a couple more. It'll be mm -hmm. 300, at least 300 pounds of clay that I'll use for this project. Do you get all your clay locally, or is that something that you bring in? Or? Uh, it's from Pennsylvania. I, right now I'm getting it from Harrisburg, but the company that the clay supplier is out of Pittsburgh. Cool. And this is a special kind of clay that's used for out of doors. Uh, it's almost like brick. It has low absorption. So the beauty of this clay is that uh, it uh, withstands the freeze-thaw conditions of Pennsylvania. I wouldn't have to do this if I were working in California. Mm -hmm. But around here, you have to use that type of clay. Right, because of the humidity and climate conditions. Yeah. 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 When it freezes, thaws, <coughs> thermal shock, that sort of thing, mm -hmm. you want your clay not to have any water in it when okay. it's out of doors. So that's very important. Oh, that's great. Do you have any examples of uh, any finished uh, work or finished pieces then? Yeah. So, um, uh, at Hilltop Studio, we make <coughs> small mosaics. And oftentimes they're incorporated into tabletops. And so people buy this. We also do fireplace rounds. We've done quite a few in this area. Fireplace rounds and um, uh, backsplashes, kitchen so tiles. This is like 
This is the type of mosaic that we do. We were trained at um, we were trained at Moravian Tile Works, um, the Mercer Place in Doylestown, and learned their method. Of course, we adapted it to our own work. But this is the type of thing that we do. Well, this is really stunning. This is really nice. So Nancy, is this is this is one of your. Uh, oh. oh, okay. This is a. This, this is, is a. Yeah. A finished mosaic, um, and there's no glaze on this. This is uh, sagar fired, and so all these uh, different variations of mm -hmm. color you see are from putting mm -hmm. the tiles in a sagar, and um, the sagar. Uh, there's material in there that burns during the firing process. Mm -hmm. and and, um, so this is smoke. actually what Sagar is, is that uh, that you have, uh, you're like mixing ash in with the... Uh, no, no, you're, mis you're mixing uh, something combust combustible in there, like, like um, wood chips or something, and it creates um, a smoke, it burns mm -hmm, and, and mm -hmm. the smoke permeates the tile, and you get these different modeled effects. So there's no glaze on this at all. Oh, that's very nice. Has a different, totally different effect than a than the shiny surface that the glaze yeah. gives to yeah. it. Yeah, and it's always an element of surprise because you you don't there's no two alike and you never know how it's going to come out. <laughs> and the, the these are unfinished pieces here. These, these are, are these are um, the clay has been fired and I'm in the process of painting glaze on there. Um, this has most of the glaze painted on um, except for these um, brown areas. Mm -hmm. um, and then it has to be fired. So this is what it looks like before it gets fired. And this one I just hasn't been painted yet, except for these, these blue areas. Well, all in all, it's a lot of intricate work that you just... Yeah, it you takes know, time. Do a lot of cutting <laughs> mm -hmm. and fitting. Well. These are just things that we do in the studio. And these are just individual projects. And yeah. The doodad pots, it takes three of us to make. <laughs> we cut out little pieces. There's one down there. Cut out little pieces. This one right here? Yeah. Glaze and then okay. take all the pieces, adhere them to a pot, and then we grout the pot. So that's... Uh, that's a big project. Which one is different? It's in her new bed. Yeah. Oh, let me see what's in that now. With uh, two electric kilns, um, these are pretty standard and they're ideal for low fire. Uh, if I were a potter, if I did a lot of pottery, I would probably want to go to gas fire, wood fire, something like that. But mm -hmm. uh, for tile making, the low fire, we fire at cone 05 and uh, cone 06 for our work. So uh, that's basically what we do. And uh, this building here is a cement building, so we don't have to worry about uh, fumes going into the studio when the mm -hmm. firing takes place. So this is this is where the heat happens. This is where it gets hot. It gets hot in the winter, but there's no heat. So in the winter, it's uh, very chilly back here. In the summer, it can get real hot. <laughs> I believe it. Wow. Well, these things re reach a um, really high degree. Yeah, something like uh, between 1800 and 220 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you think your oven might go to 500, this is like uh, quite mm -hmm. a bit more. Four well, times more. That out. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for, for letting me visit. It. Thanks for the visit. Thank you.